Okay, today I'm going to show you how to cook fish very simply and very easy uh, and very quickly. So um, uh, today I've got some nice red snapper fillets. Um, and whatever you can do, you can use any fish, you can use a fillet. Um, always dry it off, rinse it off, pat it first. I like this one, uh, red snapper. There's lots of different types of snapper. There's vermilion, lane, bee liner. Red snapper is the most expensive and actually probably the most flavorful. Uh, but I, I always get it with the skin on so I can tell if I'm paying the right price because red snapper will always be uh, much more expensive. So here you can see the skin on and the flesh. Uh, a nice portion. I've already um, wiped it down and cleaned it. Um, I'm pairing this uh, with a nice Sauvignon Blanc and I always have a little bit of that to taste it to make sure it's good before I cook. Salute. So with this it's going to be very simple. We're going to use some fresh shallots, fresh garlic, fresh rosemary, fresh parsley, uh, and some breadcrumbs and bake it. So uh, first thing you do is I like to get everything chopped up. And you can use dried or minced, but it's always, to me, way better if you can find it fresh. And sometimes if I can't find the spice fresh, uh, I go without because... You never know how long it's been sitting on the grocery shelf or in your cupboard for that matter. So again, I'm just going to chop up the garlic nice and fine. I'm going to do the same thing with the shallot. This will give it a lot of perfume. And, and as you can see, I'm not using a whole shallot. I'm using a quarter of a whole bulb. Chop it up. And since I'm not gonna cook this first, what I like to do is put everything in a little bowl. So as I use it, I mix it up and it's uh, all together kind of evenly. Um, I've got my parsley and I've removed the big thick stems, just the leaves. You, you don't wanna chop the stems because it's harder to digest. So here's the stem, I've already removed it. And the best way to chop herbs is you roll them as tightly as you can. Uh, and that way they crunch. So then I got it in a little ball. And maybe you can even hear the, the crunch a little bit. That's not just the stems that are in there, but that's because it's, it's layers and layers and tightly rolled up. So now I've got my parsley. And then my rosemary. And I get the same thing with the rosemary. You don't want the big stalk. And I don't want a whole lot, so I'm going to just cut that off because I don't have a lot of big pieces of fish. And then you just take the the leaves and you pull it opposite the stalk, right? So now, here's the stalk and here's the leaves. And again, you just get them together. You don't really have to roll these because they're, they're lengthy and they're kind of uh, coarse as it is, but you put them together almost like in a pencil and you can hear them as I'm chopping. So I've got some nice small bits of rosemary. So put that in here. So now I've got all my fresh herbs. Just stir it up a little bit with my fingers. Chopped garlic, chopped shallot, rosemary and parsley. I'm going to take my fillets. I'm going to use some extra virgin olive oil just to uh, lightly get them a little wet. Nice and moist. Of course, always use some salt and pepper. Just to your discretion. It's an ocean fish, so it's going to taste a little bit oceany. And then from there, I'm going to throw on and rub my rosemary, garlic, parsley, and shallots. And because I'm gonna bake this, I want a little bit of a texture on it. So I'm gonna use some breadcrumbs. I've got Italian seasoned breadcrumbs. Just lightly dust. And that's it. So these will go in a 450 degree oven, skin side down to roast for about 20 minutes. And then pair them with a, a vegetable or a rice or a salad on top of a salad. 
It's a lunch portion. Uh, it could be a dinner portion if you had some other starches or more vegetables with it, but uh, enjoy.